Hello and welcome to today's Polka.eco update video. Now it's been a while since we've done one of these. So today we're going to take a look at three different projects developing on the Polka.eco system who actually want to become parachains. You're well aware of these projects. Now if you're new here, maybe you're not. So please do subscribe to this channel. We do all sorts of content related to the Polka.eco system and Kusama ecosystem. So basically everybody is hyped and waiting for the parachain auctions on Kusama. Now we're meant to hear something today, we didn't hear anything today. So now with this market going down, it's not a biggie, right? I mean, of course it would be nice to see the Kusama parachain auctions finally kick off and to see those crowd sales and to see people get hyped up about it and start bidding. But again, with this market sentiment being down, maybe it's not the best time. Although some projects would argue and say, no, no, we want to start as soon as possible, regardless of the market sentiment. But you also have to look on the other side of the coin, which is what if the market has gone down too much, people are afraid to invest in crypto and then the hype is gone down significantly when it comes to these power chain auctions and not so many would be interested in these crowd sales because they'll be looking to tether in to hold those stable coins and to just wait and see what the heck is the market gonna do so what is bitcoin doing well it's trading at thirty four thousand five hundred dollars which is not doing too good right again it, it's trying to head down back to that area of thirty thousand dollars which has become support but we've seen it flip-flop between 30,000 and 36,000 even 37,000 on some occasions even as high as 39,000 okay but it didn't really happen that often so we're seeing it bounce around that area so again it's not necessarily a bad sign but it's not a good sign either right because we're not seeing that bullish momentum to see it break out of 40,000 so yeah now let's take a look at Polkadot. Polkadot is doing okay-ish, right? Trading at $23.32. It's not as bad as it used to be uh, over a week ago when it was trading at like $15 or $16, although that didn't last very long. Now Kusama, if we scroll down here, Kusama is trading at 403, which you can just see there that we had a sudden dip from 408 to 403 because the coin market cap does get updated in real time, but I think that it just took a little bit a, a while for the page to refresh. So yeah it is holding above 400 but it wouldn't surprise me if we're going to see another pullback below 400 again it went as high as 444 i believe it was today uh, which did look pretty bullish to me and i was happy because i was hoping that we're going to see something from the power chain auctions to keep the momentum going fuel kusama and then likely see kusama break above 500 dollars, which i do think is going to happen once the power chain auctions go live but now with this market sentiment it is going to be a struggle right so uh, over the weekend like on sunday we've seen this price so it could likely happen that uh, we're gonna stay around this range for a while if kusama holds if bitcoin doesn't dump lower then kusama will likely not be able to hold no matter how hyped people get about these crowd sales right there's you just can't control the market at the end of the day the market does what the market wants so that's something to keep in mind now let's take a look at Polkadex here, PDEX, and by the way, this video has been sponsored by Polkadex. So now let's hear from today's channel sponsors, Polkadex first, and then we'll continue on here and talk about Polkadex's latest news. Then we'll look at the other two projects as well. Thank you. This video is sponsored by Polkadex. Polkadex will be a substrate-based DEX with an order book, but it's really going to be much more than that. Polkadex is powered by the PDEX token which is currently trading on various exchanges as an ERC20 token on the Ethereum blockchain which will follow a migration to Substrate and be integrated into Polkadot.js, Polkadot's web wallet. Polkadex are essentially going to be the trading engine for Web3 and DeFi. There'll be a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer order book based crypto exchange for the DeFi ecosystem on Substrate. Some of the core features are trustless cross-chain transfers planned bridges between various blockchains and 0% trading fees for PDEX holders. Some of their order important features are high frequency trading, an IDO palette to hold initial decentralized offering on their DEX, a fiat gateway to be able to purchase crypto using your debit card, a decentralized KYC option to store your identity data within your wallet and not on the platform. NFTs. The Polkadex NFTs will gamify the trading ecosystem to make it more fun for users. A new token generation feature. Token generated on Polkadex will have native support for cross-chain transfers to other parachains and networks connected to their ecosystem. High liquidity with the help of decentralized KYC system. And finally, forkless upgrades thanks to the power of Substrate. The team consists of Vivek and Gotham with extensive experience in development and with passion for building on Substrate. 
Deepanch, who's in charge of their operations, and Xenia, who's managing their marketing and does a great job at it. Now, their testnet is due to launch at the end of May or at the end of June of 2021, and their mainnet will likely launch on the Kusama parachain around August of this year. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching that. So yeah, Polkadex is holding quite well here. As you can see, $20.50 on average. I know that it dumped as low as $12 and something, right? When we had a massive dump for Bitcoin, when it went to $29,000, but it quickly recovered and it gained momentum and people are getting hyped about Polkadex, surprisingly hyped considering that we don't even have a product yet. There is no product, right, for Polkadex. It's really, really close to getting that test net and we're going to talk about that because Polkadex is one of the topics I want to cover. But before we do that, let's take a look at the next coin from the Polkadot ecosystem, and that's Chainx. Now, the snapshot for the KSX airdrop has already been taken. With regards to KuCoin, unfortunately, we don't know 100% sure if they're actually going to be supporting the airdrop because they have not made an official announcement. But Gigi, who's actually working for the PolkaX team, which is behind Chainx, has confirmed in their Telegram group that they will be supporting the airdrop okay so maybe qcoin just need to make that announcement i don't know but i know that mxc exchange and hotbit have confirmed that announcement qcoin have not confirmed it themselves so the best place to have held your pcx to qualify for that ksx airdrop from sherpa x which is the canary network of kusama is to have held your pcx in your wallet in the official web wallet be it dapps.chainx.org or math wallet which is the mobile version or even polka.js because at the end of the day if you hold the keys then you've got that crypto you hold that crypto and then you can access your ksx from there again you will be able to access your ksx by going to the live networks and parachains uh, which is on polka.js on the top left hand corner but the team are likely going to be announcing some other dap similar to as we've got for chainx but that's gonna come later right so we need to wait for an announcement from the team but yes the snapshot has been done and like i was saying the price was bound to dump right and again with the market too fueling that even further you could see the price has pulled back quite significantly here for pcx 759 it's going to be a struggle now that there's no more airdrop right now that we know that the snapshot has been taken the hype is not going to be as high unfortunately so we need to see pcx badly listed on some exchanges or for these power chain auctions to kick off and to see some hype around sherpa x and likely it's going to fuel pcx as well but now with the halving event and also with this airdrop i just don't really see that much hype right now we badly need some exchange listing in my personal opinion so we'll have to keep an eye out and see what the team are doing what do the team have to give us maybe they've got some major update coming and if they do that's going to be good right we need something like the binance smart chain bridge or something right but again they're probably focusing now on sherpa x with the part chain auctions around the corner because they want to make sure that's up to to speed uh, in case they do connect as a power chain from a power thread in case they upgrade so yeah uh, that's probably their focus at the moment but we'll see we'll see how things go we'll keep an eye out on that but next let's talk about darwinia and this is one that we're going to take a look at today so darwinia's ring is increasing quite a bit five cents here as you can see but compared to how it used to be a while back where it was 4x this price you know it has dumped quite significantly so it is painful for those ring holders right but we got to remember that by holding keton you're generating a lot of ring so it's normal that you're going to see stakers selling that ring and aside from that also the team selling some ring as well in order to fund development so yeah at the end of the day you know ring is going to be sold heavily so unless there's a lot of demand unless we've got that ecosystem that needs ring right and in order to purchase ring to have that purchasing power then we're likely going to see a struggle when it comes to the price of course if ring was to be listed on binance and that would be a different story because then ring would likely be trading well above 10 cents now even with this market dump so then that would hold off and uh, it would be bullish for keton holders too of course now next let's look at keton so keton is at a 3 million market cap now amazingly low for a polkadot eco token and many people still don't understand what keton does what is keton used for so i have done a dedicated video explaining why keton is so undervalued do check that out it should pop up on the top right hand corner of the screen so that's just something to keep in mind here so yeah uh, yeah, Keton $73.69 is super, super low here. It's close to its all-time low, to be honest. I think the all-time low is like around $40 or so. So yeah, very close to its all-time low here. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? The market is down. But nevertheless, you're still generating a lot of ring if you do decide to stay Keton. 
Now, next, let's look at Polkadex's latest tweets here because this is what we're going to do in this video, right? This was the main focus of this video is to look at these updates. So, what do we have? Well, something is coming up for Polkadex, and that's why we've got so much hype with Polkadex and also the price. So, Testnet v3.0 is going to be rolled out. Now, there's going to be an AMA about 3.0. So, we're going to need to check out that AMA to understand what's going to happen. What more information are we going to get? They've also had a review done by CoinMarketCap, so that put them into the spotlight. Uh, they're also featured on Hello MSQ as one of the key projects on Polkadot. Okay, so that's also something. Uh, that's the new homepage for decentralized web. Sign up for the beta, etc. I haven't heard of these guys, by the way, so that's why I was just checking out. Uh, so yeah, aside from that, they're basically working on this testnet, right? And they're saying here that it should be ready in two weeks okay they're waiting for the order book testnet in two weeks uh, there's also going to be another surprise coming up for polkadex uh, like we've seen for another project that i've been discussing on this channel so uh, yeah i'm sure people are going to be hyped about that too that's probably going to come I'm not going to give any dates because i don't know for a fact it's probably going to come later this week but we'll see now with this market sentiment what kind of impact is going to have so yeah but nevertheless any marketing is good marketing right so yeah we're looking forward to this test and i'm going to be testing this out myself i'm likely going to do a dedicated tutorial just like i did with polka swaps testnet uh, when polkadex's testnet launch i'm going to do a dedicated tutorial of the testnet to see how it's going and uh, how it works because the last one that i've tested didn't actually have all the functionalities it was more of a dashboard and they've closed that down now that was just basically to show us how it's going to look to give us a feel for how the testnet is going to look but now with this new version with v3 we should be able to use it properly and test out our order book so that's going to be interesting because we'll get a real feel for what the mainnet is going to be like so yeah polkadex are doing a great job here when it comes to their marketing when it comes to their product development and their roadmap they're holding on to their worth so yeah next let's talk about darwinia here so now darwinia are preparing for the power chain auctions on kusama as you're probably well aware right so they've got a a reward a bitcoin super prize going on here to try and attract people to convince people and motivate people to actually bid for the crab network because what motivation do people have to bid for the crab network if they can simply purchase crab or c ring directly on mxc right they've actually listed this ages ago so what's the motivation so they've actually come up with a strategy here uh, to give a btc price in order to motivate people right and this is definitely understandable because there would have been no way and i'm going to be honest here even if i support this project there would have been no way that you're going to have so much hype with people bidding on this project when they could have bid for other projects that are a lot more hyped out there right unless you give them some motivation so this is great from darwinia here that they're doing this this is great marketing so what are they doing let's see so fourth, uh, bidding for a slot in the fourth round. That's what they're going to do, right? Uh, they're ranging, uh, the range period is uh, eight, eight periods. Okay, so actually 48 weeks in total. So I think that they're referring to the lease here. Now 25% plus one a C ring plus 1% ring as the token supply. Uh, that's the auction strategy, okay? Now uh, let's see here. So uh, what is the C ring utility? What is going to be participating in the crab network staking? Uh, you can pledge C ring to mine C Kton. Okay, C Kton can also be used to stake. And again, when I had uh, when I had Darwinia's Bree on my channel to discuss C Kton and its utility, she did say that possibly at some point in the future we're going to see C Kton listed on an exchange. But for now, there are no plans to do so. C Kton's purpose is to generate C ring. Okay, and in order to generate C Kton, you're going to need to block that C ring, just like we've seen for ring when you're locking ring for a certain period of time a minimum of one month you're generating kton so it's going to be the same with c ring you lock it up for a minimum of one month to generate c kton now uh, you can participate in the land auction of new continent based on the crab network in evolu in the evolution land game you can also win crabs uh, kusama's parachain auction plo rewards and governance and voting rights so that's the utility for c ring so let's talk about the BTC price loader. So for every KSM contributed, supporters will receive one lottery ticket. The lottery tickets can draw for Evolution Land's NFT price packages and a mystery BTC super price in the NFT land. So they're really, really focusing on that game, right? Now, uh, rewards for a successful bid, 240 million C ring and 6 million ring is the prize pool. 30% is released immediately and the remaining 70% is vested 
over the 48 weeks, which is the lease period. That's the maximum we can lease a parachain slot or parachain slots on Kusama. And the NFT package, which is NFT land drills and apostles are used for gamify mining. Okay, so that's something that they're looking at to try and uh, attract people to Darwinia Scrub, right? So that makes sense to me and uh, fair play to the team for doing that. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, so yeah, one of, some of the core features of Crab Network, so it's a Ethereum virtual machine compatible, we knew about that, cross-chain bridge, we've got the Crab Continent in Evolution Land, if you do want to play that game, do check it out by the way, it doesn't have that many followers on Twitter, but many people within the Darwinia community are playing this game, some people outside of the Darwinia community too, and also micro gas as well, so yeah, if you want to check that out, do so here. Uh, follow uh, Evolution Land and then go to their website and then join the game, set up an account there. Next, let's talk about Karura. So again, Karura is one. I was actually looking at their website here because I was amazed at how much they've changed it here. Uh, so yeah, basically within the Akala Network website, there they've got an explanatory area of uh, Karura. So what's Karura? Karura is the all-in-one DeFi hub of Kusama. In case you didn't already know, right? Founded by the Akala Foundation. Karura is also scalable, EVM compatible, network optimized for DeFi. The platform offers a suite of financial applications. So yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of a lot of different features, right? I've already done a tutorial on uh, Akala, so I'm not going to spend time to talk about this, but Karura is literally going to be the same as Akala. It's likely going to have some other features which are only going to be specific to Karura. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, Karura is a beast, right? On, on the Kusama network and Akala will be a beast on Polkadot. Uh, so uh, yeah, as you can see here, actually, if we look at their latest updates with uh, Kala and Dan Reeser, who's very, very active on Twitter, he's constantly posting updates, he's, he's, he really knows his marketing, right? So he sat down with the current CTO, not the current, like as in current CTO uh, of uh, Kala, but uh, of the company current. Uh, so here, if you go to current, it says, we're not a bank, we're better, and they've got over half a million followers on Twitter, okay? Trevor Marshall is his name. To learn more about Trevor and Current, uh, basically it's the mobile first bank, early crypto routes. So basically they're the mobile first bank. That's what that's what Current is, right? I haven't heard of them, to be honest. This is the first time I hear about them, but uh, yeah, I mean, they've got a lot of followers on Twitter, so many people must know about them, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have followed them. Now, they're looking at launching as a Polkadot validator, and uh, they're looking at uh, ways on how Akala's yield engine will benefit its 3 million US customers. So again, it just shows you here the marketing for Akala and Karura is immense. I don't think any project can compete. Maybe Moon River and Moonbeam can compete to Akala with Akala, but most of these other cryptocurrency projects building on Substrate are struggling to compete. They're, they're working on different on different areas of, of the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems, but anyone who's trying to become a DeFi product, I think is gonna struggle to compete with a giant like Akala, in my opinion, right? We just gotta look at it from this point of view. Like how likely is it that somebody's gonna use their DeFi product over Akala and Karura when they can just do that, right? Akala and Karura are now gonna become, officially, I think they're gonna become the giants of the Polkadot and the Kusama ecosystems when it comes to the DeFi platforms. So yeah. In my opinion, I think uh, that's how it's going to be, and uh, a lot of these other DeFi platforms are going to struggle. we got to face the facts here. Now, uh, the Akala and Karura team also hosted a meetup uh, with Polka World in Shanghai. They've had over 150 attendees, and uh, over and 1,500 more joining them online. Okay, so that's humongous. Uh, and I think Betty was the one that was uh, holding the speech here because she can speak Chinese. Uh, I think it's her. No, it's not Betty. It's somebody else. I don't know who that person is. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's crazy here. And yeah, just a kind reminder with re regards to the crowd loans. If you do want to get a 5% bonus, in case you do want to register for the Corora crowd loan, you'll get a 5% bonus if you use my referral link, which can be found in the description of this video. So please do so, I very much appreciate it. I also get 5%, you also get 5% extra. If you don't use it, then you don't get the five. You just get whatever you bid for, which is the uh, minimum of 12K or for each one KSM. So yeah, if you wanna take advantage of that bonus, the 5% bonus, it can't hurt, right? 
then please do use my referral link. I very much appreciate it. So aside from that, yeah, this is pretty much it. I mean, they're just waiting for these parachain auctions, right? They're trying to market themselves to spread the word as much as possible. So people even outside of crypto or outside of the Polkadot eco that want to get involved in the Polkadot eco are finally hearing about Akala and Karura and will likely participate. So great job from the Akala team here knowing how to market themselves. I think more projects need to learn from them, but maybe they're struggling or maybe they don't have the personnel. Who knows, right? It's hard to judge. We shouldn't really judge, but it just shows that when we have something to compare, we can kind of use that as a comparison, right? So yeah, that's it from today's video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.